At one time, he was seen crying very heavily until his tears soaked his beard and the companions around him saw his tears reach his clothes and then to the ground. What was making the Rasul Sallallahu crying so heavily, I wonder. The hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. The companion Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he says, the Prophet peace be upon him once sat me down and he asked me to recite to him from the Quran. I said to him, O Messenger of Allah, you want me to recite the Quran to you when the Quran descended upon you? It's revealed to you, O Messenger of Allah. You want me to recite? And the Prophet ﷺ replied, Sometimes I like listening to it rather than reciting. Because it has a different effect. Recite Ibn Mas'ud. And of course, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was chosen because he was among the best of reciters. And the Prophet used to say, whoever wants to recite the Qur'an as it was sent, as it was revealed, recite it like Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud began to recite from the Qur'an, from Surat An-Nisa. He says, until I reached a part of Surat An-Nisa which says, فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِن كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ عَلَى أُولَاءِ شَهِيدًا Verse 41, which means, And how will that day be? When we bring all of these people, your ummah, your nation, on the day of judgment to be held accountable and judged, and we bring you, O Messenger of Allah, to stand witness for them or against them. A Sahabi companion was sitting there and he got Abdullah ibn Mas'ud's attention and winked at him. Told him, look at the Messenger of Allah. Rasul Sallallahu was crying heavily. He looked up at Ibn Mas'ud and said, That's enough, Ibn Mas'ud, that's enough. I can't handle more than that. What was the Prophet Sallallahu crying about? He said, Hasbuk al an. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud looked at him. I found, he said, his beard soaked with tears and reaching the floor. Al Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was scared was afraid for his ummah that he's going to have to stand on the day of judgment as their messenger to be a witness for us and he has to be a witness if we did wrong against us he wanted the best for his ummah he is afraid of that stand because he only wants to ask Allah something else and we're going to get to it inshallah we're going to get to it what will the Prophet ﷺ say on the Day of Judgment?